Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new Westman Atelier Vital Skin Pressed Powders. I picked up two different shades and I picked up the new shade in the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. So if you're curious to see how those products apply and what products I use to create this almost full face of Westman Atelier, keep watching. To start our almost full face of Westman Atelier, I'm going to start with their foundation. This is called Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I have shade four. It is not the best match for me at all. I have tried multiple times to use the foundation finder shade or, you know, shade finder on the Sephora website. Every time I put in my other foundation shades that are a really good match for me, it tells me that there's no foundation. So I think what I'm going to end up having to do is buy another shade that's a lot lighter. They've got some cool tones, but they're really, really light. They're like one or two or something. Um, because shade number four just has a, it has a peach undertone and on me, it shows up really, really yellow. It's not the best, but it's workable. It's doable, right? We can, we can make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply it directly to the face and I'm going to use a Merit foundation brush to blend it in. This brush I think works really really well for cream foundations. I really really like it. It was gifted but I think for cream or stick foundations this is the best brush that I've found. I think if I do a light layer it'll work. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll just we'll do a light, light layer of foundation. Now I have been playing with these powders for a few days now, so this won't be a first impression. They are really nice, but really expensive. This foundation is definitely buildable, but because the color match is not the greatest, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I do think that the color looks pretty good. Right? So instead of adding more foundation to the areas where I think I need a little bit more coverage, I'm going to go ahead and just use concealer. So this is the NARS Radiant creamy concealer and I have shade taupe so I'm just gonna apply that I'll take a BK Beauty 101 to blend in the concealer and hopefully this will give me that extra bit of coverage that I was looking for all right so I'm happy with the way that looks now we're gonna go in with the Westman Atelier contour stick this is the face trace contour stick and I have shade truffle this is one of my absolute favorite contour sticks. Well, of contour sticks, it, I mean, it is my favorite. But in terms of like a cream contour, it is definitely one of my favorites. It's so easy to use and it's just really, really good. I can't get over how easy it is to use this. And I'm blending this out with a Bobbi Brown full coverage face. It's my go-to for a blending out cream contour. All right, so my right side I think looks really, really good. For some reason, <laughs> I can never get my left side to match. Does anyone else have that problem? I feel like it's really easy to define or to chisel out my cheek on my right side, but my left side, I feel it's just a hot mess. I'm now at the point where I want to open up these new products. So this is how the box came. I have already opened this and swatched this and used this, but um, it does come in a nice box that was wrapping. And then on the inside are all three of the new products that I purchased. I purchased two of the brand new Vital Skin pressed powders and I picked up shade Creme and shade Pink Bubble. So I'm going to swatch both of those. We're going to use those today. Since I was placing my order, I did go ahead and pick up the brand new Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter, which came out a few months ago that I hadn't purchased yet, and it is in shade Pota Saint. I love the Super Loaded Tinted Highlighters. I think that they are phenomenal, so I was really excited when they came out with a new shade. So let's open up the two new powders. Let's look at them, swatch them. They do come in a blush pink bag. And then when you take it out, you've got this very, very luxe container or packaging. It is really, really luxe. It is heavy. And this is the shade Creme. 
I really wasn't sure what shade to get. On the website, it showed creme was for the lighter shades. And then they had a, another powder for the deeper shades, but those middle shades, they didn't show on. I went ahead and went light. I'm gonna swatch it for you. There is creme. So you can see it's, if anything, it leans a little bit yellow. I haven't noticed it leaning yellow on my skin. I actually do think it's a really good match. Um, and then the other shade, Pink Bubble, is supposed to be more of like a highlighting or a brightening powder. And it does also come in the same packaging. And it's this beautiful bubblegum pink. So my plan is to use that underneath my eyes. So there's the pink. It really, once you blend it down, it's really hard to see. I'm going to take a BK Beauty 108. I'm going to pick up the pink bubble. And we're going to apply it under the eye. I'm just going to do one eye at a time. So you can see the difference. So my right eye has the pink bubble. The left eye does not. I do think it makes it very smooth. And I do see a noticeable difference in where I have the powder and where I don't have the powder. So I've been really, really, really liking this. It's very, very soft. It's very silky. It, it's a really, really nice powder. The area underneath my eye, it's so soft. I'll go ahead and pick up a little bit more and go underneath my other eye. So I really have been enjoying this pink bubble. I think it's really, really pretty. For the facts of this, it is five grams. It's $75. It's a 12 month shelf life and it is made in Japan. And same goes for the powder. And again, here is the creme. So I'm gonna take my Lumiere powder brush and we're gonna take it on just one side of the face so you can see the difference. So the right side has the powder the left side does not. I think it is the noticeable difference in the way that it sets down the foundation. I think the right side looks significantly improved. So in that sense, I really, I really have been enjoying this powder. It is, I really like it. It's very, very soft, like I was saying. And I do think it just kind of blurs everything. It just sets everything down. So there is the face fully powdered. I think that it's really, really pretty. In general, the Westman Atelier products don't last very long on my face, but I haven't noticed any issues with the powder looking cakey or even my face looking really oily after several hours of wearing the powder. So, so far I have been really impressed. And like I said, I have been using this since Friday. So I wore it all weekend. Now we're gonna see if it plays well with others. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my powder bronzer. This is the Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer and I have shade Coupe de Soleil. Here's what that looks like. I absolutely love this bronzer. I love the hearts in it. And if I'm being honest, I kind of wish that the powder had the hearts in it because I think that it's just a nice extra touch. But I'm going to go in with my Chikohoto F01 and see what happens when we apply makeup on top of that powder. I think that the powdered bronzer went over the powders really, really nicely. I didn't see any movement of the products underneath. And so far, I'm really impressed. Now let's try a cream product. So I have the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick, and I'm going to use shade Petal today, which is a, just a very, very neutral kind of pink shade. I'm going to take a rougher number 24, and I just run my brush right over the product to pick it up, and then I tap it on. I thought that the cream product went down on top of it very, very nicely. There are no, um, it didn't pick up any of the product. It didn't, you know, move it at all. 
So I think that it does play well with others. And these blush sticks are hands down some of the best cream blushes you will ever find. They are so good. I'm gonna get out the last new product that I picked up. And again, this is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in shade Pota Saint. Again, the packaging is the same. You've got the blush pink bag and you do have the same gold packaging. I will say, I did order this directly from the Westman Atelier website. In the past, I have these two Super Loaded Tinted Highlighters and they come in a vegan leather pouch. And the product is in a black matte kind of shell. So this one is in a different packaging. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but um, it's in the same packaging as the powder and the bronzer. For the super tinted loaded highlight, you get four grams of product. It is made in Italy and it has an 18 month shelf life. So that's what it looks like. It's very creamy. It's very, very beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to build it up. So that is Pota Saint. And now I'm going to compare it to the other two that I have in my collection. And the first one is Pota Rose, which is a very light pink. This one I don't use very often because there are glitter particles in here that I'm not they're not my favorite. So Pota Rose is more pink, and I would say Pota Saint is more peach. And then my favorite of the ones that I have is Pota Pesh. You can see this one. This one's been love. Pota Pesh, Pota Saint, and Pota Rose. I'm going to take a Chico Hodo. This is a T4. And I'm going to go in to the Poto Saint. And really, I'm going to use it as like a blush topper. It has that same like um, smell. I don't know if it's coconut. I don't know what it is. It didn't work. The product didn't get on the brush as I had hoped. So I'm going to go in with my finger. Yeah, I think that makes a better, huge difference. You definitely see it more with your finger. That's really, really pretty on top of that petal. I really like that. That looks really pretty. So with my hair down, this is how it would look. I really, really like that. That is pretty. And I still think that everything went down really nicely on top of that powder. So we're gonna finish off the look. I do not have the Westman Atelier eyeshadows, but what I thought I would use are these little mermaid shadows from Chantecai. They're very, very subtle. Um, and they're so quick and easy to use. Take this first one, this is Sylvie, and this is a Mermaid Eye Matte. I'm gonna go in with a Sonia G Classic Crease, and we're just gonna place this in the crease and pretty much all over the eye. Westman Atelier is just a very simple, minimalistic brand. And I feel like these eyeshadows go perfect with that look. And these are also a cream to powder. They're so good. I mean, look at that. That is a one and done. I'm gonna go in with a Sonia G Jumbo Blender. I'm gonna go into this shade. This is the Mermaid Eye Color in shade Seashell. And we're just gonna place that on the lower half of the eye to just brighten that up. And then that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Really, really simple, minimalistic eye look today. 
I'm going to go line my eyes and put some mascara on and then we'll be back to finish off the look with some Westman Atelier lips. So the eye look is complete. For eyeliner, I used the Gucci eyeliner in shade chocolate. And then for mascara, I used the Merit mascara. I really, really love both of these. And I think it did create a very, very natural look. So now we're going to go in with some lipstick. And I have the Westman Atelier Le Nudes Lip Suede in shade Le Nudes. So what I'm going to do is this bottom one, this bottom shade is what I typically use. I just go in with my finger and apply it. You don't get a lot of color. There's really not a lot of payoff. And I wouldn't say that these last all day. Um, I wouldn't even say they last an hour. And they really feel like a bomb, like a lip bomb. I don't know. They're not my favorite. I would love to see a lipstick from Westman Atelier. I think that would, I would be really interested in that. I do have their liquid lip balms and I have shade Nana and it's just a really pretty nude. And these I really, really do like. I think they're really, really pretty. So I honestly, it just looks like my lips, but better. Really, I mean, I think that it's very, very natural and very, very pretty. All right, so there's the full, mostly full face of Westman Atelier I'm using the new powder and the new tinted, the new super loaded tinted highlight. So far, I am really, really loving everything. Now, what I want to say about the powders is that they are, they are pricey. So you're going to get five grams for $75. And I pulled out some of my other powder and these are just really, really small. <laughs> like, I just want to point out how small they are. So this is the Westman Atelier and I do have a Sicily to compare it to. So the Sicily is 12 grams. So more than double what the Westman Atelier is. The Sicily is more expensive, but you are getting more product. The other pressed powder that I have here is the Dior. The Dior is 11 grams, so again, more than double, and the Dior is almost half the price. The Dior powder is $40, and this is $75. The Charlotte Tilbury is only 8 grams, so it's not quite double, but it is, and it is $45. So I think that was the most shocking for me, is just seeing how small this is. You know, I probably will go through this pretty quickly. Um, that said, I mean, I do think it is a really lovely product. I'm really, really impressed with how it wears. I love just how natural my skin looks right now. It looks literally like my skin, but better. You know, it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I'm not. But I think that it, but it also kind of, blurs all of my pores. I think it is very <laughs> mature friendly. Um, it's a really, really nice powder. I'm really, really liking it. I'm just pointing out that it is very tiny and it is very expensive for what you get, but I am loving it. And I do really like the way it wears and the way it looks. Let me know down below what you guys think. Are you interested in picking this up? Um, would swatches help you? I can, you know, I'm happy to go over on Instagram and you know, put up some swatches of this powder compared to other powders that I have in my collection. Just let me know. I'm happy to help you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.